Hey everybody, uh, today I want to demonstrate the EMF 390, which is a really, really nice meter. It measures three different uh, fields. Uh, first, the electro fields, which are electro electric current traveling through a conductor, uh, and then electromagnetic fields, which is basically electro smog or electromagnetic smog in the air, and radio frequencies, which are radio frequency fields traveling wirelessly. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to demonstrate what happens when we use a cell phone uh, and how it transmits radio frequencies and it can be measured. So when we turn on the cell phone, you'll notice immediately it picks up electromagnetic fields and it's not much, but you'll notice the change in the electro fields. It's picking up up to 0.3 when it's on when it goes off, it goes back down to 0.2. Notice when it comes on again, it goes up again to 0.3. It sort of fluctuates between 0.3 and 0.2. However, when we go off of airplane mode, notice how it spikes. Um, very high levels of RF fields. Uh, getting as high as 1,198 milliwatts per meter square. That's 1,198 milliwatts per meter square. That's the peak. I want you to notice how it fluctuates from normal to high. Again, if I go on again, notice it goes up to high and then back down to normal, up to high, back down to normal. And keep in mind, this is always transmitting when you and I have the phone in our pocket. All right, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to just launch the internet. And when I launch the internet, I'm just going to go to a regular website. Notice how high those levels are, up as high as 4,000. That's very high. Let's say we go to YouTube. If I just go to YouTube and let's just say that we start playing a video as high as 6,000 milliwatts per meter square. When it starts turning red like that, it's extremely dangerous levels. So you can see that it's picking up high, high levels. It even goes as high as 11,000 milliwatts per meter square. That's a very, very high level of RF fields. But notice it's always picking up something. If we were to turn off the video and just simply put it on standby mode, Eventually, it will go back down to normal. As you can see there, 9.7, that's milliwatts per centimeter square. And then it goes back up to 30. It's always reaching out for more data. It's always reaching out through the RF field for more data. The phone constantly pulses. It constantly reaches out for more RF data. If we turn it on, if we go back on airplane mode, Notice what happens. Eventually it settles down to zero. Back down to 0 0.3, 0 0.2. It's at a very quiet, low level state right now. No radio frequencies are being transmitted. But the minute we go off of airplane mode, notice what happens it spikes up 63 milliwatts per centimeter square and then when we go back to our video and we play our video it goes even higher 379 But 
you'll notice that this here indicates that it's always picking up some bit of information or data through the radio frequency waves in order to populate the screen on the phone. EMF levels are at 1.9 milligauss. Radio frequency wa waves can also give off radiation. Uh, if we're constantly exposed to it, it can cause problems. If you'll notice this chart here, um, anything over 100 milliwatts per centimeter square we should avoid long time stay in that area. But notice, we got as high as 11,000, according to this, 100, according to our peak so far in this transmission, 11,973 milliwatts per centimeter square.